I talk about it all the time that one of the most important keys in building a network marketing business is understanding that questions will always lead to answers. Welcome to the Network Marketing Made Simple podcast. I am Scott Aaron, and each and every week I am going to come to you with simple, short, and powerful tactics and tips on what you can do each day, each week, each month, and each year to grow your network marketing business, income, and team. And just remember, network marketing is not easy, but it can be made easy with simple steps to bring you the success that you truly deserve. Welcome to episode 34 of the Network Marketing Made Simple podcast. But as always, before we get started, if you are listening to this and you are a network marketer that struggle with social media, with lead generation, with your mindset, with organizational skills, then you deserve to check out my Network Marketing Academy. Just head over to www.thenetworkmarketingacademy.net, check it out, sign up, and I'll see you on the inside. So in today's episode, I'm going to specifically talk about three questions that you can ask a business prospect. And why I love these questions so much is, I've talked about this before, questions will always lead to answers. And I think at some point in all of our network marketing careers, we end up doing too much talking and selling and not enough listening and asking. And I was a victim of that. I I remember in the beginning, God, I, I was doing phone calls with prospects and they were 45 minutes, an hour, hour and a half. And it was just a bunch of verbal vomit. But what I've learned is that it is so beyond important to qualify people for your time, but to also qualify people for your business. So I wrote down three questions that you can ask a business prospect that is kind of unclear if they want to take a look. And, and these are, they're all different, but they're all based around the same principle is questions will always lead to answers. So let me paint you a picture. You talk to someone, you're prospecting them, whether it's belly to belly, whether it's in a networking group, whether it's on social media. And people, they're not, they're just not sure. They're not, you know, network marketing, they've, ne they've never done, or maybe they've done it, but they failed at it. Here are three great questions to pull out from that person if they're the right fit for you in your business. So question number one, what amount of money would make a huge impact on you and your family's life? What amount of money specifically would make a huge impact on you and your family's life? Now, why this question is so key is because it's asking for specific information. What amount of money? And strangely enough, it has been shown in studies that an extra $500 a month into a family can save up to, I think it's, it's, it's up to 50% of marriages can be saved with an extra $500 of income coming in passively. And network marketing obviously is that kind of opportunity. But asking this kind of question it's a very heartfelt question because it's not just about the impact that it has on that person. It's the impact that the money will have on their entire family. And when you ask this kind of question, it's really going to pull at their heartstrings and it's really going to raise the level of conversation. So number one, what amount of money would greatly make an impact on you and your family's life? That's question number one. Question number two when you ask someone, you know, what are your goals? What are your dreams? And they say, I don't know. I'm not sure. Never thought about it. Here's a great question you can ask them. If money or time 
were of no consequence to you at all. You had all the time and you had all the money in the world. What would you do with your life now? So this is a huge question to ask because it's hard for a lot of people, most people, to imagine having all the time and having all the money in the world. Because in most people's minds and, and in, their, in, in their eyes, that's a fantasy world. That doesn't exist. But it does. It really does truly exist. And I think a lot of us are all in the process of creating that or we're in the process of having a lot more time and a lot more money than we used to. So when you ask this question, it's going to get them to think. And the person might say, well, I would want to travel. And you'd say, great. Where specifically would you like to travel? To Europe. Wonderful. Where specifically in Europe would you like to travel? Italy. Beautiful country. Never been there, but absolutely want to go. What part of Italy? The Amalfi Coast. Heard it's absolutely incredible and it's on my list too. Then you can follow that up. Is what you're doing right now for a profession going to allow you to create the time and the money to go to the Amalfi Coast? This is the final question you ask this person. This isn't the third question. This is still attached to the second one. But when you ask that, that's going to really have that person think about what they're doing with their life. After you go through and you start to break down what they want to do with their life, you finish it off by saying, is what you're doing right now professionally going to allow you to create the time and the money to go to the Amalfi Coast? That's question number two. Question number three is the long-term game question. So when you're talking to someone that's been in their career and in their profession for quite some time, I myself was a full-time personal trainer for 18 years. And my father, God bless him, he just turned 66 in December. He's still rocking it out, loving personal training. And it got to the point where I started to look at my life and I realized that I can't imagine seeing myself do this for the rest of my life. I think I was 35 going on 36 and I'm like, you know what, I I need to start to break away and start to create something different. So a great question you can ask someone that's been in their profession for a long time, 5, 10, 15 years. Do you see yourself doing this for the next 15 to 20 years of your life? Now, there are a lot of people out there that love what they do. And I honor and appreciate those people that love their jobs. One of my clients, one of my friends, Emily, is a high-level HR exec in her company, and she loves it. And she has network marketing as her side hustle, which is great. But when you talk to someone that's miserable in what they're doing and you ask them, do you see yourself doing this for the next 15 to 20 years? And they say, absolutely not. Then you can follow up and say, what do you see yourself doing for the rest of your life? And then when they say, I don't know, then you can start to continue to create that rapport and that relationship offering the opportunity to partner with you in your business and your opportunity. So the three questions that are great to ask business prospects. Number one, what amount of money would make a huge impact in your life and your family's life? Number two, if money or time were of no consequence, what would you do with your life right now? And number three, do you see yourself doing this job for the next 15 to 20 years. Questions lead to answers. Guys, as always, thank you so, so much for joining me today. Love you all so much. Enjoy the rest of your days, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast When I was trying to get my podcast, Success Made Simple, off the ground, I had so many questions. 
How do I record an episode? Where do I find background music? How do I get my show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? Where do I find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. For me, I wanted to do something quick and simple. And if I have a thought in my mind, I can do a mini cast that's 8 to 10 minutes or even invite a guest on to do one with me. So if you've always wanted to start a podcast, go to anchor.fm slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start, and I can't wait to hear your podcast. So again, thank you so much for checking out today's episode. And if you can go over to Apple Podcasts or iTunes and leave me a five-star rating, write a review, and share this with anyone that you feel could benefit from this, I would be so, so grateful. And again, if you would like to learn more about LinkedIn and how I can personally assist you in growing your network marketing business, head over to www.scotterron.net and schedule a free 15-minute coaching session with me today. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.